Hello, everybody. My name is Shirley Henderson from sharework.com. And today's episode of Share's podcast it is Share on Why It's Important Governance and Crypto Law by Shirley Henderson featuring Vitalik Buterin. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, um, so I was scrolling on Twitter, the Twitter world, and then I read Vitalik's uh, tweets, and it said something like this. I want to see a specific example of an outcome that involves not minimizing law that could be practically achieved via crypto law. Vitalik Buterin. You can go to my blog and you will have the link right there to his uh, tweet. So you can read the whole story. So you'll be more informed. It's right there in my blog. Okay, so this is my input. This is my point of view. This is how I see things. And so we have eight minutes. So bear with me. It's not so complicated. It's pretty simple. I think because there is no example why... Uh, that we can use, people are eager to accept uh, and request the implementation of laws in the crypto space. Therefore, let's make an analogy. Uh, the artificial intelligence uses the example of the movie Terminator to implement laws that will govern the creation of AI, artificial intelligence, because we are afraid that could happen, you know, what could happen. So we all agree to be protected by set of rules. We want to believe that the majority of people, it's good and few are bad, but you only need one but to create something that could be irreversibly harmful for humanity. We are not agreeing to make rules on crypto because we don't trust crypto. Since we know that crypto is already ruled by math mathematics, the same way we defend that guns don't shoot themselves, that's why we make gun regulations, all right? We completely trust guns over there, let them move. We just don't trust people you know, on how they're going to handle them. Same thing with crypto. You know, we trust crypto, it's ruled by math, we just don't know who is going to be put their hands on it. That's the only thing why we want the implementation of rules and regulations with crypto. Let's clarify that the adoption of crypto is to promote freedom, not anarchy. All right? The work of the blockchain and cryptocurrency it's to enhance a better future not to help to ruin our future the law as we know it was created to protect the good guys from the bad guys why it wouldn't be any difference in the crypto world in the crypto space right we want to be protected over there um, you don't want to be entirely free in the crypto world as a no man's land where you are over there at your own risk and that's your fate. Good luck. See you. Woo Bye. So now we want to be protected. We want to be in a place where we know that if something happens, somebody's going to come and rescue me. Somebody's going to protect from my rights. And that's what we like. That's what is called society, civilization. You know, we want to be protected. We don't live in the jungle. We, you know, isolated. We want to be protected in a community where everybody's looking after each other. At least that's what we seek. The idea of no rules for crypto would only put us back where, even worse, where we started. And we'll throw away all the hard work and that we have done to get into the mainstream and people to accept crypto. And people are going to think that it's only for illegal activity and we just don't want that. It's not good for the general public to think. Uh, when the truth is that crypto was created for to allow an open market with less fees 
with no borders and more positive things than negative for all. With the implementation of rules on crypto means that cryptocurrency has been accepted as a method of payment in a world adoption. Isn't that what we wanted? Well, we got it. So this is what we need. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, crypto had become formalized in the eyes of the general public, so it needs to behave as such. Our crypto needs to have rules. So, in the crypto space, crypto exchanges, companies, blockchain developers, and users ask, we want to become responsible for the creation and implementation of laws that will prevent the use and misuse of the technology, you know, for evil ends. We don't want that. We want to be protected. And so it is our responsibility as a user, as a developer, and as a, you know, if you have a, a cryptocurrency exchange and, and you are a proper holder of cryptocurrency, you have to have the responsibility for yourself, your company, and, and everybody else, right? So this is why we want rules. Imagine if a criminal, instead of having his organized crime funded by gold, will be funded by crypto, then no, no one could deny his withdrawals. An example like that is uh, why the creation of laws and the governance in crypto is required. To stop uh, criminal activity and negative uses of the technology. Unfortunately, we see how technologies that were created in good faith uh, to make the world open, to bring people closer together, had been abused uh, by developers and users, given a bad reputation to accountable owners of those companies. So we need to, this is why blockchain developers and crypto exchange companies have a higher duty to protect us from what they may foresee. And we, as the users, have to request rules when not in place specifically at open source blockchains that have a higher rate of users. Oh my gosh, I have like two seconds left. Okay, uh, the evolution of men uh, with technology should be designed in such a way that promote the well-being of humankind. On the contrary, it needs to be stopped. With the right governance on crypto is a responsibility, and it's a responsible way to keep going on the right path. All right, so what rules are to be created? That is not so difficult, just, you know, we need to go and copy what's already been implemented on the rules for financial sectors, artificial intelligence, and we can modify them to the crypto space when needed. I think uh, openness and transparency and whether one can still know who the key belongs to a good thing. Okay, so, you know, go to my blog, sharework.com, and you can read the entire article if, if, you, if I lost you in the way. So yes, I mean, we just need to see, we need to go for this goal. And the end goal is that we want to solve problems with this technology and we want to be in a good hands. So we need to regulate who can use that or, you know, you just use the general knowledge, you know, specifically, you know what is good and you know what is bad. And so, yes, it is good. We want rules to be implemented in the crypto space because it's for the good of everybody. So uh, blockchain governance with the creation of laws to regulate crypto should be viewed as the first line of defense for developers, users, and the world. So there you have it, you guys. My name is Shirley Henderson, and I want to see you succeed. And I am on the side of humankind. And see you guys back. Go to my blog, sharework.com, and you can subscribe to my newsletter, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that's it, you guys. See you guys back.